Hello people, today I'm gonna tell you a few things about leveling in Guild Wars 2 and compared to other MMORPGs, it's extremely easy to understand what you need to do and also it's super, super, super rewarding, yeah? Because of that, there are not many secrets that I can talk about, uh, but I still wanna give you guys some pointers and I wanna put everything that gives you XP into one video so then later on you can choose your cup of tea uh, depending on what kind of a player you are. Now, as I was saying about um, being rewarding, I will uh, make my minimap larger so you guys can see. In front of us, there is a point of interest, yeah? In Guild Wars 2, if you discover stuff like points of interest, waypoints, vistas, then you get experience. So even walking in this game actually brings you XP. We discovered the point and then we're gonna get a little bit of XP. Uh, the XP is scaled compared to your level. So basically, if you're level 20 and discover this point of interest, it's gonna give you this amount of XP. If you're level one and discover this point of interest, it's gonna give you that amount of XP. The same progress, but different amounts, obviously, depending on your level. Again, in front of us, there is a waypoint, which if you, by the way, discover, you can later teleport to it. And it also gives you um, a nice amount of XP. So basically, this is uh, one thing that you can do always move around you can basically get a lot of levels by just walking and discovering stuff yeah that's number one number two um actually the most important thing and the most reliable thing not the most important why is it the most reliable thing is because it's always available um, it always gives you a good amount of experience and it doesn't require you to have any consumables or any form of special gear in order to do it quests same as in every other MMORPG, uh, I'm going to show you, this is a crafting character, so I don't have um, much discovered, but we're going to go to the first zone, we're going to travel to this point of interest, uh, to this waypoint, and I'm going to show you uh, how quests look like. Quests are basically the hearts, yeah? If you do hearts, and there's hearts everywhere, um, then these are the quests. As you can see right here um, in the quest tracker, this is a heart that I can actually do. If I keep hovering over it, you're gonna see that it's gonna be highlighted on the minimap. So if you don't know where that is, yeah, keep hovering over it. The more we run into the world and the more we advance and the more we progress, the more we're gonna be discovering other hearts. As you can see, now I'm too far away from the previous heart, but if I keep walking forward, chances are that I'm gonna get uh, closer to another heart which basically um, is going to mean that I can do the other quest. Quests, uh, reward, XP rewards from these hearts are also scaled uh, to your level. So you can be a level 70 and still come in the first zone and do these hearts and you're going to still be rewarded with uh, plenty of experience. Yeah. So these hearts are basically the quests of Guild Wars 2. How you get them? You just walk and you just stumble upon them. The more you discover the map and progress through the world, uh, you're gonna keep encountering these hearts. As you can see now, that's another one. So this is the most reliable way of leveling up in Guild Wars 2. Now, on top of this, there are other ways that not all of them apply to everyone. These ones are really simple. Um, PvP, that's another super good way of um, getting XP. How you get XP in PvP, it's basically really simple. At level two, you get to unlock this button right here in the top left corner, which is the PvP section. And then you can basically play PvP. The third tab from the PvP panel is called Reward Tracks. And this is where you choose how you want to get rewarded for doing 5v5 PvP, yeah? Uh, as you can see, always if you hover over these bars, the fourth item is always something that looks like this. This is a Tome of Knowledge. And this is the way to level up from 5v5 PvP. Each of these gives you one full level. So right now I am 80% of level 23. If I use one of these items, I'm gonna be 80% uh, of level 24 and so on so forth uh, until I level up. Until you learn the game and until you learn your class, I highly recommend that you guys would um, play unranked arena and not the ranked one because ranked one is very competitive, yeah? And you need to know what to do. Cool, another way of leveling up is doing events with other people. Um, events with other people are um, not the most reliable way of leveling up because sometimes they take long, uh, it doesn't only depend on you, they don't always come non-stop one after another, so obviously it's less reliable than these hearts, the quests, 
but it's still a good way and it gives a lot of XP. One very good event that if I would suggest one while leveling up, I would suggest this one, um, is in the human zone. Um, where are we? Here, uh, right here at the top um, of the human zone. Yeah, This is a centaur place which gives you a lot, a lot, a lot of experience from kills. Um, I would recommend if you do that event in that zone, you would have uh, a food on you. Foods in Guild Wars 2 give uh, experience from kills. Um, and if you want to put some money in the cash shop and get an XP amulet, I will actually show you the one that you need. It's in boosts. Experience booster, very simple. You can get one of these if you're planning to do that centaur event that I showed you. That's a really good event with other people. You get to meet the community and get lots of levels from lots of kills that are happening during that event. Yeah. Cool. At level 30, when you, reach, when you reach level 30, you can start doing dungeons. Dungeons is also another good way of leveling up, not because of the kills that happen inside the dungeon, uh, but because of the end reward. Um, the level 30 dungeon is the easiest one, and then once you progress, you can... Um, you can do higher level dungeons as well. Getting inside the dungeon is easy. You press contacts and LFG menu. You go to looking for group dungeons and here they all are. As long as you are the appropriate level, you join a group and then you pay attention. You need to be in the map in which the dungeon is in order to uh, easily access the dungeon. So if you want to do the first one level 30, then you need to be in Ascalon because this is the place where it is. Don't worry, every beginner point, every starter point is actually already discovered. So if you zoom on the map here and if you teleport to this place here, you're going to be able to easily enter afterwards the dungeon. Same goes with all the other races, for example, the humans here. Yeah, you zoom in here and this is the beginner waypoint. If you want to start discovering the human zone and go to the centaur event, etc. Um, dungeons is another good way of leveling up. Other than that, uh, other unreliable ways, uh, crafting gets you an easy 20 levels if you go from zero to um, 500 crafting. That requires um, a lot of maths and sometimes a lot of money. But if you're a type, the type of guy that just, you know, deposits every month, then 20 levels easy from crafting by just purely crafting. One last thing I want to mention is the personal story. Less reliable than quests, the hearts, because it ends at one point and maybe it's not for everyone. But still, if you're into it, it gives a good chunk of XP and um, it's pretty cool to do. Again, the XP is scaled depending on your level. So you can be, I don't know, you can start your personal story at level 75 and then get the last five levels like that. Um, you can track your personal story in the hero panel, in the story journal. And also, if you look at the map, there's a clear indicator where you always need to be to continue or to do the next chapter of your story. Yeah. Cool. I guess these are all the things that I personally want to mention. I myself leveled up through uh, PvP mostly. I didn't do many hearts. I didn't do much exploration. Uh, I just did lots of PvP. I had lots of tomes and this is how I personally um, leveled up. I found it the most enjoyable. And yeah, that's about it. I wish you guys lots of love. I will see you soon and take care.